What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? It's Uncle Muscles. SD3 just was released this morning. And uh, Comfy UI can run it. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Now, here's the thing. Most of you guys probably are running this on a Linux machine, and this video probably won't apply to you. And if you have any questions, I can probably help you out with that too. So feel free to leave them in the comments below. But this is going to be mainly pertaining to Windows users using AMD hardware so like a 7900 xt in my example in my case and uh they're going to be running a comfy ui with zaluda the new stable diffusion 3 with zaluda so i'll show you how to do that now this is comfy ui this is the comfy ui github that's not what i'm using i'm using the git repository from patient x uh i get clone this let's see if i have powershell open uh, and I'll just show you really quickly. So I git clone this into git clone https gitclub.com patient text company into comfy UI Zaluda demo. Okay. And so this is my actual Zaluda. We're going to just show this one. Once you download this, it's actually really simple. And that's the reason why I'm showing this one. All you need to do is run the install.bat. Okay. It's going to take a second. It's going to install all of the. Um, packages for python it's going to install torch pytorch now I, my version actually runs a little bit differently um i'm using a more recent version of zaluda and i'll talk about that at the end of the video so people don't have to sit through that and then also what else am i doing uh because i'm using that different version of zaluda my pytorch gives me the ability to use uh 12.4 of the um nightly build uh uh, FYI and just warning if you download the nightly build it will download like 16 versions of CUDA or of the nightly build and each of those are like 2.5 gigabytes so just be careful when doing that you can also just use the stable 12.1 version if you're gonna if you want to use a different version of CUDA uh, I'm just experimental like that so that's why I did it like that it's totally unnecessary you can actually just use 11.8 Eight, which is the one that comes with the installer. Now, as you can see, Comfy just popped open on my screen. That's because this worked. So once you run the installer, it actually will patch Zaluda on your machine. You can see here we have Zaluda right here. It's already installed. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to open up this in a new private window because it has my settings there already. Excellent. Cool. Now, one of the other things I'm going to do, too, is just show you guys how this works with the um, workflow that they offer you. So if I, if I load the workflow, this is the workflow that's available in the uh, Stability AI. It comes in Comfy Example Workflows. There's some things to understand here, very specifically. I'm just going to go over this really quickly, and then I'll show you how mine works. Um, it says to download the... well. First of all, where you're downloading the, these checkpoints and stuff, what, what comes with the Stable Diffusion 3 me, uh, medium? If you don't know how to get to it, you're going to go to Hugging Face, huggingface.com. Uh, just type in uh, Stability AI. Uh, cool. And then you'll see Models, Stable Diffusion 3 medium. That's what we're using. You're going to have to do like a disclaimer, like give them your name and address and phone number and social security number. And then after you do that, uh, it's $3,000. And then you get free access to this. I'm just joking. It's free, but you have to give them some information. Um, okay, cool. So this is what you get. You get three different pre-made uh, checkpoints. And then also the text encoder comes separately if you want to use that separately. Uh, as I understand it and as I've seen, there is degradation in the quality of the images when you use the uh, this checkpoint with uh, the one that's merged everything together. There's degradation as far as like quality of images. Uh, and personally, honestly, I'm not really that into the text. Uh, it, it really is a heavy workload on the GPU too. So it's not really that necessary for me, but I'll show you how to do it. So it's important uh, because it's important and it's cool. Uh, so you get the text encoder here. You're going to have to download whichever version works for you. I would probably recommend the FP8. And then you need these two. If you're going to do it the hard way, if you're going to do it the easy way, all you need is this. And then if you don't want the text, all you need is this. 
And then if you're going to do it the hard way, all you need is this, this medium.safe tensors. It's the, it's the one that's the smallest, but it will, it, it's because it doesn't include the other stuff. So you want to download, uh, in my case, I downloaded me, actually, I downloaded pretty much everything here. Uh, you're going to download this, and then, like I said, you're going to choose which ones you want, and then you're going to have these text encoders too, and I'll show you where they go. The text encoders, right, those are going to go into your clips, Okay, so the text encoders, I think you can put folders here if you want. You might be able to just take like text encoders and put them in here. But the clip G, the clip L, and the TXXXL, and the, or the T5XXL, whichever one you choose, have to be put into the model's clip folder. The checkpoint, as usual, in my case, I have the SC3 medium, will go into the checkpoints folder. Okay? Now, like I said, I'm not using this version. Uh, I'm using a... Well, I'm using that version of Comfy, and to be honest, I don't think I need to use that version of Comfy. You really can just follow the scripts if you want. You can use the actual version of Comfy. Um, like, there was an upgrade low VRAM issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to be honest, like, it might even be worth it for me to... There might it might be a reason to actually get another commit here, um, or to pull it again and and, and recompile it, uh, because it does seem to be an issue with VRAM. Uh, so if you're pulling this just after after this video, it should be fine. Just keep keep an eye on these repositories as they get updated, because uh, whatever gets updated in this will get reflected in patient X's, but it will happen here first in the comfy UI. Uh, and to be honest, as far as I understand it, PatientX isn't really a coder developer by any means. But he is maintaining this repo, so shout out to him and thank you for that. Appreciate it. It makes it easy for everybody. Um, but like I said, there is an issue with VRAM, so you want to be careful with that. And I'm using a different version. My version is using the most recent version of Zaluda, and I'll show you how that looks different. So in mine, I created my own scripts here, and maybe I'll include those, maybe I won't. So they're not really that complicated. They're just copies of the other ones. But it, in my, I, I separated the patch and the update for Zaluda. And it uses the most recent version of Saluda. And I, because I do that, when I install my, um, like, let's just say I was going to be in my, and uh, in my directory for the, I just installed it in the demo. When I do venv uh, scripts activate, uh, is that right? Do I have to source it? Uh... Oh, I never made it, did I? And it's not that. Sorry, this is going to be kind of complicated. Okay, cool. That really took an hour. Uh, so the, what I kind of just want to show you guys, just this is like stuff that doesn't really matter that much, but it's like if you want to go the extra mile here, uh, you can download the nightly CUDA here. So I'm in, I'm in that uh, environment. You can just pip install it. I'm not going to do this because like I said, when you install 12.4, the nightly, it'll install like 13 versions of it. A lot. It's a lot. And it takes up a lot of space. Uh, and I don't want to have to like, you don't want to have to go back into your site packages and uninstall it all the time. So it's whatever. It's kind of annoying, but it's possible. Uh, that being so, because of that, I run the most recent version of Zaluda 3.8, apparently. Um, I don't know if that affects anything. I don't even know if that makes it better or worse, to be honest. I have no idea. Uh, I have no clue. And if anybody knows whether or not that's better or worse, let me know. But because of that, I. I also have this thing where uh, I'm using AMD's embedded GPU. That's my GPU one. So I'm using HIP visible devices zero or one because zero would be my the, in, the integrated GPU. So I have all my own separate like Zaluda stuff that I made. Uh, and that's cool. Uh-oh. Okay, we're working. I also have some like nodes and stuff that I use. Uh, okay, cool. So, yeah, we're getting some artifacting because I've been doing this a bunch and my GPU is, like, all over the place now. Cool. So, 
as I was saying, so if you want to run this by itself, like the fast way, you don't need to include these clips or anything like that. I would just use the eclipse here. And then like a very cute Asian girl flipping off the viewer. That's the that's the prompt I've been using. Isn't that sweet? So it's loading the one model. And I like I said, I'm using these Aluda. I'm actually also running... Uh, don't pay attention to all these. These are my old... Um, this is my old workflow. It doesn't matter. You'll actually notice here, too. I actually have dual and triple clips. Or that's the dual clip. I tried that one. It did not work. We're going to add node. I'll just show you how the other one works. Advanced. Loaders. Triple clip. Okay. And so, G... L and then I have the FP8 because the other one's too big, really. She said, uh, This is still kind of taking a hot second. There we go. Uh oh. My GPU is artifacting, so sorry for this like kind of poor uh, thing. I just want to show you one last little thing. I've done this video a couple times too, and it's not perfectly edited. I apologize. It's not edited at all. So I just want to show you very quickly um, the text. You want to do medium, and so we added two clips, which disappeared somehow. Uh, advanced loaders, triple clip. Right? Cool. And that becomes our clip. Our clippy clip. And now, for demonstration purposes, because you can take my word for it, it really is a lot heavier on the GPU. I'm just going to make this 1024. Holding a sign. SD3 is here. Cute prompt. Now, as, a, as we're doing this, I'll just show you really quickly. So that's the triple loader thing. And by the way, if you load the uh, the workspace, it'll show up with that. Let's just double check this. This is even working. Okay, cool. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Now, here's the thing about these. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you one example of this. Sampler name, you want to be using DPM PP2M. Or DPM, I believe. Anything with SEE, do not use. I wonder if DPM 2S Ancestral works. Ancestral, in my opinion, was always, like, nicer. Like, I, w I was using Euler Ancestral for a while. Ooh, this did not work very well. I don't know if it's my GPU bugging out or if it's um something else. We'll just queue one more here. No, I think it's my GPU bugging out. Here, let's just go to my output and let's see if there's anything here. Uh uh, except if I do that, you're going to see all of my output. I don't know if I really want to do that. I think we're just having GPU artifacting issues. I think this answers all the questions for everybody. It's kind of hard for me to stop the video, so I'm, I'm just going to stop the video and say, check me out, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. Hopefully this video helped out everybody. You really want to be using DPMPP. Nothing else really works. You really want to be using schedule or uniform works okay. I found that DDIM works if you want to have a more artistic effect. Simple works, but it's not 
It doesn't seem to be as good as normal or uni SGM uniform. Exponential really didn't work very well, and Keras seems to be very much, looks like everything looks like silicon. Uh, I'm going to be doing this live on stream. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And like I said, twitch.tv slash Uncle Muscles. I might start streaming on Twitter, uh, Twitter Uncle Muscles, or x.com slash Uncle Muscles. And then um, I'm on YouTube, which is where you're going to be watching this video. Love you guys. I got to go by. Love you guys so much. I got to go.